Typically, because of Montana's rural nature, the state is about five years behind the national trends for drug use. And Butte is no different. MTN's Madera's Bab tells us what drugs are most commonly abused locally and how law enforcement makes sure they stay safe while dealing with the different epidemics. The impact of, of uh, meth and opiates uh, is, is really evident throughout our community. Drug addiction is a problem law enforcement encounter each day. Sheriff Ed Lester says his officers no longer test the drugs in the field because of their safety. A very small amount of fentanyl can actually cause you to stop breathing. So we've stopped all of our field testing and all of our testing currently is done at the, the crime lab. All of Butte's officers and drug dogs have Narcan kits, but it's not just for others. They are also intended for the officers to use in case of an emergency. My thoughts originally with the Narcan were that we would carry that and have it in our vehicles uh, in the event an officer was exposed to this uh, fentanyl. Then we could administer it quickly and, and get him breathing and get him to the hospital. None of the kits have been used on officers, but they have been used on people who have overdosed. Uh, we've used Narcan a lot uh, recently, not a lot, but several times recently with people who've overdosed on opiates. Along with Butte Police, local firefighters are also carrying Narcan, and that's because, as Jeff Miller says, it's important to improve safety measures as time evolves. You, you, you're always dealing with the unknown, and, and it's always 4th and 20 because you're never responding to something good or because somebody's having a good day. So it just goes hand in hand with the training. You have to prepare for the unknown, and you have to be ready to, you know, to adapt and change at any given moment. Moving forward, police and fire say it will continue to look at ways to ensure safety precautions are met, especially when dealing with substances as dangerous as drugs. In Butte, Madeiras Bab, MTN News. Lester says even though there is a high amount of drugs, he hasn't seen a drug lab since he took over as sheriff.